The Crucible is synonymous with snooker. In fact, it's hard to contemplate the World Championship being anywhere else. But how did it end up here in the first place? Well, sports promoter Mike Watterson was searching around for a venue when his wife Carol came here for a theatre show. The rest, as they say, is history. Well, their two sons have returned to Sheffield to talk about the old days. Andy, what a special place this must be for, for you and your family. Yeah, yeah, it's somewhere I've been coming since I was a little boy. Um, spent a lot of time here growing up through these corridors and the generally sort of wreaking havoc wherever we went when we were little. Um, coming here, a um, little bit bittersweet this year. It's the first time I've been to Crucible for a, a little while. Uh, obviously, first time since we've lost my dad, and uh, it's a place where got, it's filled with memories for us uh, through, throughout my life, really. But a great legacy that he and your mum discovered the venue because it's not just important for snooker, it's important for Sheffield, it's important for Yorkshire. Yeah, indeed. Um, I think it was very much stars came into alignment at the time. You know, um, my dad had just uh, taken over the, the promotion of the, the championships and my mum had just seen a, a play here and uh, the, the two just sort of happened to, to coincide and uh, the rest is history really, isn't it? The, the play that she'd seen, she said the atmosphere just for a play was great. Um, the the confines and the tight atmosphere made for a, a cauldron-like atmosphere that the Crucible has become known for ever since. And um, as soon as my dad heard that the venue could be a possibility, he was very, very interested. I think at the time that he came down and looked at the, at the Crucible, it really was getting to crunch time about where he was going to host the event, uh, if he was going to get it done and have a, a clear home in 1977. And, uh, it came down, it worked. And how much time did he have to spend on a practical basis ensuring that there was actually <laughs> enough floor space for two tables? Because it's legendarily tight out there, but it works just. Just, yeah, and it nearly didn't happen. Um, when, uh, when my dad met with Arnold Elliman for the first time, he asked how wide the stage was, and he was told it was 34 feet but you actually need 36 feet for, uh, for two tables because you need six feet per table and then you need six foot either side. So 18 feet a table is 36 feet. And uh, he was so disappointed that, he, that it was 34 feet. But uh, Arnold uh, Elliman said, oh, we'll speak to Malcolm, the, uh, the stage manager. He'll know exactly how wide it is. So they asked him, he said it was, it's bang on 36 feet. The Crucible is a really, really special place. Um, but it's, it's as much about the players and the matches that they've put on here that have helped to make it the place it is. Um, as I said before, it's, it's everything, it's those stars coming into alignment, isn't it? You know, it's, uh, the, the, the venue would be nothing without the snooker that, that's been played here. Um, and the, the World Championship would be nothing as they are now without the Crucible. It, this will always be the home, of not just of the World Championship, but of snooker. Um, you know, other, other tournaments have come and gone. They will continue to come and go, but they'll always be the Crucible, they'll always be the World Championship. And to know that it's going to be here and that Barry is hell-bent on keeping it here, despite commercial pressures, I'm sure, it's, uh, it's a good feeling to know that's going to be the case. Betfred, proud sponsor of the World Snooker Championship.